Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind any mess you can see behind me today is a deep cleaning day in my house. That's what I do with my three day weekends whenever I have holiday weekends. So that's what I'm doing today. But I planned on doing a video about my snack drawer. So like my refrigerator snack drawer, because I get a lot of questions about how do I, you know, where I put my meal preps and how do I store everything. That window is a little bit annoying where I store everything and um, how I put it all in my refrigerator because I have a very small refrigerator and also like how do I make sure that I pick my healthy snacks first those kind of things so I do have a dedicated snack area in my refrigerator that I think would work really good whether you have kids or you're single or just you and your husband um, it's really family friendly I've been using this kind of technique for a long time since my kids were little so I wanted to share that with you but I thought you know what while I'm in my refrigerator I might as well show you what you guys always ask me for like my refrigerator organization so I'm going to show you a pre-shot this is what it looks like at the end of the week when we have not gone grocery shopping when my snack drawer is empty when my refrigerator is empty and then I will show it to you after I do my meal prep and it is all stocked up and to show you what it looks like how I fit everything in there so let's turn the camera around and I will show you my empty refrigerator okay so here is a look at my refrigerator before grocery shopping and before meal prepping I um, it's pretty empty right now but I'll kind of show you where I keep everything and then I will show you a snapshot of when what it looks like after I meal prep and then we'll go over the snack station that's in here which is the whole point of this video so up here you guys I do have a blended family as far as how we eat so you guys know I eat really healthy my husband not as much so you're gonna see things in here that are not as healthy as what you usually see in my grocery haul so up here is where we keep the milk my husband's cokes and here we keep his Gatorades and bottles of water that he takes to work so you can see all that is empty this next shelf down here I have my eggs these are some strawberries that I need to cut up and then I have well this is mine a random diet squirt but back back in here is where we kind of keep some open things that need to be taken care of so like I have dog food <laughs> I have some yogurt there's some hummus here and just like an open jar of salsa verde open jar of spaghetti sauce so this and then it's like some grape jelly so this is just where we keep kind of the things that we need to use up this shelf down here this is where I keep leftovers or things that I'm gonna be making for dinner so you can see I have pizza here some hot dogs some sauerkraut so that's just kind of like my either leftovers or dinner bin here's my sandwich bin so in here I have some lunch meat some bologna again these are things the family eats some pimento and cheese my husband loves to have this on sandwiches cheese slices some lunch meat back here I have some cans of fruit cocktail my husband likes, likes to have it cold so we just keep it in there for him my big huge thing of garlic from Costco this shelf right here is kind of my shelf so this is my snack station you see it's empty because I haven't meal prepped of course and here's just some other things in here but I will show you up close and personal of that snack station when it is all done and then I just have this is where I keep my meal prep stuff so you can see I have some watermelon here that we need to eat up but this is where I stack all my meal prep stuff so you will see that after I'm done meal prepping and here I have a very empty vegetable drawer so here I have some cucumbers that I'll be slicing up avocados this is where I keep my onions and this one is usually like zucchini carrots things like that you know that I need to get cut up and washed and ready to go and tomatoes are sometimes in here too most of the time I keep my tomatoes on my counter but right now um, it's so hot I keep them in the refrigerator this is our cheese drawer we do a lot of cheese here so you can see I have back here I have my fat free feta I have the um, laughing cow cheeses and then I open up the laughing cow cheeses so then I can have a mixture of them and I open them up and put them in here and these are like ones that are already in here like I have a gouda and a queso they're already in here so those are just backups and then I normally don't have this many amount of cheese but I only have one store in town that sells the fat free mozzarella so I do stock up on it when it's on sale and then just the Kroger which is our like our Fred Meyer they have cheese on sale all the time so I picked up a whole bunch when they had it on sale and that's why I have my husband likes to have crackers and cheese for a snack so I buy these blocks and I just cut that up for him and then the door so this is just where I keep kind of random things like I have sugar-free jellies here back behind here I have some like curry paste um, some bouillon base 
I keep like extra lime, li lime juice and lemon juice, the butters. I have some, this is my squeezed ginger, things like that. This one is more of the kind of condiment, although I have nowhere to keep like the sun-dried tomatoes and like bacon bits, so they'll stay here too, but I have all my mustards, ketchup, all that, dill relish, jalapenos. This little section here is where I keep like all my like beverage, it, like I keep like my almond milk, just kind of like the stuff that me and my youngest son use. So like the almond beverages and then like my coffee creamer, this is my son's coffee creamer, and then just a random place to keep my unsweetened coconut. <laughs> this next one are salad dressings. So I have like the salad dressings that like that I use and then that the whole family uses is here. Down on this bottom one is just some random sauces. Um, so I have like buffalo wing sauce, different teriyaki sauces, Worcestershire barbecue sauce that's open, and then like some Taco Bell sauces here. So this is kind of the before grocery shopping, before meal prepping. So as soon as I get done meal prepping, I will turn the camera around and show you what it looks like when it's all stocked up. Okay guys, so I am done with meal prepping, done with grocery shopping, so I'm gonna give you a shot of my refrigerator with it all full, and I'll go shelf by shelf so I can show you how I store all my groceries and my meal prepping after I am done. So of course this top shelf again is kind of my husband's shelf where he keeps his Cokes and his drinks for work and then the milk's up here. This shelf I did change a little bit so I could fit everything in, so these are like my diet sodas, these are some drinks that I found, I have eggs. Back there I just have some pre-cooked bacon I'll be using for BLTs for the week. Then I just tend to know where to put that, so there's the pico de gallo. Back here I just have some yogurt. This is my chai tea concentrate, which I will be showing you how I make that here upcoming soon. Now this shelf now got a little bit fuller, so in here I swear I keep either leftovers or meat that I have for the week. So right now it's start of the week, so we don't have any leftovers. So this is just some meat I'll be cooking up tomorrow. And then again, this is kind of the sandwich station. Back there is where I shoved all those um, jars that were already open that I need to use up. So that is what that is. Now the part you guys really wanna see, and this is where I keep my meal prep and my stack, snack station. So as you can see here, here are all my snacks, and I'll pull these out and give you a nice up and close view of them. But see, this is how I slide them out. And then I have this top one here. And then I just have a kitchen shelf here in between. I will have everything that I'm showing you here linked in the description box because I bought everything on Amazon. We don't have a container store, bath, bath and beauty, whatever that is, bed, bath and beyond. We don't have any of those here. So I do have to buy everything on Amazon. So here's my big thing of spring mix. And then there's just all my meal prep containers. I just stacked them all up back there. And then again, I will pull these out and show you those up close and personal. Then here is my um, vegetable drawer all nice and full. So in here I just have a bell pepper, some tomatoes. Back behind there's some zucchini. And these I just got at the Dollar Tree. These are just magazine rack things, I think is what they call them. Have some cilantro. These are just like a half of an onion. There's another half of an onion here. Half of a cabbage. My avocados. And then I just keep my bagged up lettuces kind of here in the front. There they go right there. And then my cheese drawer is right here, so I just have some extra cheeses I couldn't fit up top there. And I already showed you actually, I think, all this, but nothing much has changed in this one besides the extra cheeses. And then nothing changed in the door except for I did buy some extra, I have bought some more creamer and another thing of milk, so all that is right there. But nothing else has changed in the rest of that. So now let's get close with the refrigerator snack station so I can show you what is all in that. Okay guys, so now that I've showed you where I store my snack station in my refrigerator, I'm going to show you kind of an up close on just the types of things that I keep in here. Of course, this always changes up depending on what I have in my refrigerator, what I'm feeling like, if we have any like leftover stuff I need to use up, all those kind of things, of course, go into what I'm going to have in here. So one thing I almost always have is some sort of cheese. So these are, of course, these are like the light cheeses that I eat. Actually, my husband prefers these as well. And then I just have some little square cheeses and these kind of cheeses. So the whole family will dive into both of these. So they um, like the cheeses. I always have some sort of yogurt 
This actually was a free item, so that's the reason why I have this random dairy-free cashew yogurt. I haven't tried it yet, but I have some sort of yogurt almost always if I'm kind of in a yogurt mood, which I have been lately. This applesauce was just, I just happened to be, I had some applesauce left over from a recipe, so I went ahead and just put it in these jars. I've been feeling like pickles lately, so these little jars work out really well. I got these at Walmart. I believe you can also get them on Amazon, but they're they're labeled as baby food jars, but they're in the canning section of Walmart. So you may check these out because they're perfect for this type of thing. And then let me grab the container for, or the bag for these little portion containers. So here's the little portion cups I bought. And you guys know I normally use those little ones that I found at Dollar Tree or at Walmart. But here's the problem with them. The little lids to those little cups were getting lost. I don't know where they were going. The little cups were disappearing. I don't know. I have, a, you know, two boys and a husband in my house, so maybe they just, I don't know, maybe they're getting thrown away. I am not sure, but I just kept rebuying them and rebuying them and buying them, and the little lids were getting stuck in the bottom of my dishwasher, and so they were just getting by the heating element. It was just a terrible situation, so I just decided to go and order some of these. Now, this was $7.99 for 100 of these little cups, and they're two-ounce size, perfect for little dip things. So, I don't know. I know a lot of people think this is wasteful, but for me, it was just getting to where I was rebuying those over and over again and spending a dollar and buying those little cups, and it was just getting really annoying. So, I just finally bought some of these, and a hundred of them should last me a really long time. And you can reuse these if you wanted to, but I just don't, at least this way, I don't have to reuse them, and the family doesn't have to feel obligated to bring them back. So, anyway, I will have these linked in the description box. So what I have here, I have some ranch, and see how perfect size they are? I mean, they fit perfectly the serving size of everything. So I have two ranches in here, which can be used for, I could even pick those up for a salad, could use them for any of my vegetables. I have some hummus here, two of those, again, for vegetables. Um, then this is PB2. I like to have a PB2 with my apple in the evening, and sometimes I like to have it on a rice cake with banana. So I can just grab one of those, and these last um, all week in the refrigerator. So this is that bin, and I always configure it a little bit different. It just depends on, like I said, what I have. So that's that bin. And this bin is mo mostly going to always be fruits and vegetables, things like that. I usually can fit this type of thing in this one, but they didn't fit this time. So these are just some little guacamole cups. My husband likes to use these um, when we have taco night, but I also like to have them like maybe with some reduced fat wheat thins or some pita chips or with some vegetables, stuff like that. So, and I usually put half the package in the freezer and the other half, half I put in here. So I just have some different vegetables just depending what I have on hand. So I had a cucumber from last week I had to cut up. See, there's carrots down there. I had a bell pepper. Um, I made some hard boiled eggs. So those are there, there's more cucumber, I have grapes, I think I have celery, I have some sugar snap peas. So just lots of healthy snacks for the family to grab and go and for me to grab and go and just lots of healthy items. So this is my up close and personal to my snack station. You saw how I stored it on the refrigerator. So I hope this gives you some ideas for a small space because you saw my refrigerator is not very big. So there are ways that you can get around that small space and by utilizing your vertical space definitely helps in a small refrigerator. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little peek in my refrigerator and to see how I store my meal prep and store my snacks and my little snack station as I call it. So if you'd like to see the same type of thing in my pantry, let me know because I do have snack areas in my pantry as well. It is split up a little bit differently for everybody, but if you want to see that, I can show that to you. It'll take me a couple weeks to do that because I have so many videos that I have planning coming up, but I can add it to my list if that is something you would like to see. So leave a comment below if you would. Give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload every video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!